And because it's Neil Patrick Harris's 50th, and again, he was Doogie Hauser, we go over some of your favorite childhood stars, your favorite child stars. And well, I got one that ties into both conversations. I don't think anyone's going to say it. Let's hear all about it. not only was he a child star, but he was a game changer. That answer is Ron Howard. Game changer. Because not many people went from child star to a superstar the way he did. Ron Howard, good one. Now, he's not, the number, he's not the number one answer. And I'm not even going to give the number one answer. I want to get to all your feedback first. Don't forget he went on to be a superstar movie producer. That's what I mean. He yeah. went from child star, he went from little Opie, Andy yeah. Griffith style, to Richard to starring, Cunningham. Starring, yes, on screen. Uh, Happy Days, to being a blockbuster film creator. Triple threat. Yeah, so he's a game changer. Who comes to mind immediately for you, Dickie Doodle Davis? Child stars, if you ask me. I mean, when you say child stars, I'm definitely going to say... Sam on, no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> on different strokes. The little redheaded kid. No, um, I'm going to say uh, best child star. <laughs> That's when that show went to H-E double hockey sticks. Whatever. You're right. I'm going right. to say, I'm, I'm thinking hard because I want to give you just the right answer. I'm going to say Alfonso Ribeiro. I mean, a he's good a one. great child I mean, good he one. to this day, who doesn't love Carlton? In fact, I just say he was on a list to tie it into sports. He was on a list of the best, today's the U.S. Open, right? The best celebrity golfers. He's wow, in the top really? five, they say. Him, wow. and, him Timberlake. But not even his it's role about Timberlake. On... What about Justin Timberlake? Uh, Mickey yeah. Mouse Club he turns was... superstar. Yeah. There you he's go. not like everybody knows him from Mickey Mouse Club. But yeah, I mean, he did it. He uh, was a child star. I just hit you with a double doozy. No. I, I, like just, your... gave, I just gave you Carlton, Carlton and JT. I really like your Alfonso Ribeiro, not only from Silver Spoons. Like He was the coolest kid going. He was dancing with Michael Jackson. He was break. He was the tap dance kid, break dancing in all his videos and everything. He was a cool kid, and then he got that nerdy reputation because of well, his most famous role as Carlton. Alfonso Ribeiro has been doing it a long time. It's a good answer. Uh, but again, while I say Ribeiro, I know you have a couple on your list. I got the number one. So yeah, I'm just, I mean, I'm just gonna sit here and, and relish in it. The, the birthday boy is definitely top three. Neil Patrick Harris. I mean, uh, Doogie Hauser turned you know into he's Barney a, Stinson. He's a swell fella for sure. Okay, talented too. Anyone want to throw anyone else? Yeah, well, out there? I have one that. We can't have this topic without bringing out our very own from FSR, Ben Maller's producer, Justin Cooper, <laughs> better known as Maximilian yeah. from the movie Liar Liar. I still yeah. feel like you're lying to I me. I can't even no. believe that. No, he's not. You mean the kid that's like, the claw. And, and, yeah, and the claw's what's, coming at you. What's crazy about it is Rich is the stepdad who says, <laughs> the claw, Maximilian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Rich. Like, also, the guy from Saw. He's also, I think, the same guy from Saw 1. Yes, right? yes, yeah. Yeah. He was the guy in the original Saw. Oh, That's God. Rich Davis. <laughs> um, anyone else that, you know, is there an answer? Is there a number one, like, for you? Well, g- give us your number one, because someone's going to steal it if you keep is fishing. It just, is oh. it just TV? Can we do movies? Is that is that okay? You can do movies, yeah. Why? Is there someone that comes to mind for like, you? Uh, Drew Barrymore. Oh yes, Dude, she's like a legendary one. E.T. Sure. Yeah, little kid with her she little. She was so uh, little, she thought E.T. was real. She did. That's, That's the crazy story. side story. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she thought it was real. That's how little she was. Uh, I mean, look at her now. Great answer. So it's on a talk show. You could you could debate this all day, but I know in my heart of hearts that no. the number one answer. Ah, no. I know it is Macaulay Culkin. No, oh, he's a good answer. He's a good answer. I know Shirley Temple. <laughs> oh, you know what? If you ask my mom, she'd say Shirley that. Temple's the number one answer, Steven. She's okay, without mom. question. By far the number one How star. How could you even say anyone else? No, that's uh, Rich's number one answer for favorite, co- favorite cocktail. <laughs> Shirley Temple, please. Can I have a Roy Rogers? I'm like, Rich, is no alcohol uh, Rich's in that. favorite wedding cocktail yeah. of Shirley Temple. <laughs> <laughs> um, which, by the way, are delicious. They are. The number one answer, Just and you're going to debate it, is Gary Coleman. Yeah, that, no. What you talking about, Cavino? Yeah, yeah. Gary Coleman was the best because he had me laughing. He was so funny and ahead of the game. Gary Coleman, number one child oh. star because you know what? He never really was anything else but that. I know he had a, a good life as a security guard and everything, and I know he was disgruntled because he didn't want to say what you're talking about, Willis, but Just- Gary Coleman as a child star – 
I mean, he was so fan. Dude, he was on TV Guide all the time. He was the best. I love Different Strokes. He was the guy, Gary Coleman. He was so good. And I, by the way, that's who I was thinking of, Gary Coleman as well. See, I he was such a child yeah. star. Uh, but but that's why they well, Webster came out after that because yeah, they wrote, they right, found yeah. somebody else who was small. Yeah. And, you know what it was, you know, Ramos? When you think back in in TV history and and also with like food and products. If something was successful, they're like, all right, well, we need something like it. Adam Samley, Munsters. There was always a GoBots, Transformers. There was always a, well, that's successful. Let's try to duplicate it. Uh, Do you remember, uh, of course, Saved by the Bell was like, California Dreams. (laughs) There was always. Always the broke (laughs) version. Yeah, yeah, honestly. Webster was the broke version. He was. Webster was the broke version of Gary Coleman. No question. There was just something about him. He made me laugh so much as a kid. And if you don't already love Gary Coleman. Yeah. Oh, is man. Big Mike that runs this place still here? He doesn't run this place. No, oh, I heard he does. Uh, Big Mike, who runs this place. If Mike is here, please come to the studio, Mike. Mike, <laughs> I don't know if he wants to share the story, but he has a Gary Coleman story. I don't yes. know if it's private or not. Yeah, but, I'm yeah. pretty sure it was told in confidence. But that's okay. Uh, but who, who's listening? Who cares? Come on. Only millions of people. Um, I I, are we missing any? Like, I think I know big... Rich's favorite. The kid from Jerry Maguire <laughs> that had the big head. I thought that was Rich. <laughs> That kid with the big head from Jerry Maguire, he ended up being ripped yeah, as an like adult. Jacked. You ever see like they're like, where is he now? And he's like a bodybuilder. Yeah, like Pinsky, right? Yeah, it was Jonathan, uh, no, Lip Nicky. Lip Jonathan Nicky. Lip Nicky. Okay. And speaking of all chalked up, how about Punky Brewster? We saw her in that documentary oh, later Soleil Moon in Fry. life. Yeah, yeah Soleil Moonfry. Don't mind if I do. But look, there's a ton of child stars. Who comes to mind? Who was in that Doogie Hauser Neil Patrick Harris conversation being that it's his birthday? Eight seven seven ninety nine on Fox. I mean, he's always been really cool with us. Uh, our pal Mark Paul Gossler, Zach Morris. I mean, you could say ch- he was a teen star. Does that mm-hmm. count? Because mm-hmm. Saved nah, by the Bell. Counts. Now you no, don't think it counts? Er- don't. Early Saved by the Bell. Early, early. Yeah, he mean, was a kid. Yeah, he was a kid, man. Early yeah. How with old? uh oh, what was the teacher's name? Miss Bliss. Miss Bliss. Good morning, Miss Bliss. <laughs> yes, those were er- they were kids in that. Yeah. Now you can't keep the Brady kids out of this conversation. Who Lisa, was your Lisa, Lisa Turtle was my first, was first my crush favorite. that wasn't a white girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Lisa Turtle? Hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, Tootie was mine. Uh, if anyone's keeping score at home. It's been fun. Um, Danny G, who'd you say? Marsha. Oh, Marsha Brady. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha Brady. I, was, I loved it. I, was, I had a crush on Alice. Oh. I, yeah, I, was, I was into the older, <laughs> older women. You wanted to grow up and be a butcher? <laughs> See, I, I, was, the butcher. I always envied Sam the Butcher. <laughs> Who are, we, are we missing anyone before we move I mean, on? I mean, not for, for you, you Alice, guys, I'll give you extra. Hillary Duff for Wait, my can generation. Can I tell you? Hillary. She's got that stuff. Hillary Duff got that stuff. I watched yeah. How I Met Your Father. Right. Oh, yeah. She. Oh, yeah. Just because she is on that show as Sophie. That show, not to be mean, I watch every week because I loved How I Met Your Mother. Right. It's not great, but she is hot. She <laughs> seems likable. I remember one time Spot and I were sitting in traffic. No joke, Pop, Spot, probably what, two blocks from the studio here? Oh, it was actually at this intersection. Yeah, it was at the intersection. We were coming down, yeah. And all of a sudden, I think it was like a Mercedes truck pulls up next to us. And all of a sudden, Spot, I'm like, it's Hillary Duff. And we, we I actually, tra- at the top of I'm like, is that Hillary Duff? And I go, Spot, shut up. I swear she heard And we me. tried so hard not to like... Look at her like, yo, she looks so good. Hillary Duff is a great one. She was Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie correct? McGuire, exactly, exactly. I mean, a little uh, your generation also, Monsi. Ariana Grande was a kid star. Yeah, I did. She was Nickelodeon, I think. And Selena I Gomez. Didn't, I didn't do a lot. Of, Selena Gomez more, but I didn't do a lot of Nickelodeon. But yes, both of those are child Disney stars. Disney Channel stars. Well, since, I love uh, Disney Channel. You know what else is making me laugh? No one's gonna say it. So I'll just it. say it. You won't even know him by name. But Bryce Beckman was a child star that made me laugh as a kid. He Who? was Wesley on Mr. Belvedere. Oh God. Wesley with Bob Wesley. Uker. <laughs> yeah, but I used to think he was funny. Wesley, you twit. Yeah, exactly. I liked him. He was a little like a, like a little rascal who are filled with child stars. Alfalfa, one of your favorites, Rich. Oh. Well, since Big Mike didn't come in here and he's probably on his way home, I'll just say this. I'll just say that <laughs> Big Mike, let's just say he has a story where Gary Coleman, let's just say, blocked him with a woman. Yes, yes. Gave all, the the all. story goes like this. Mike was, uh, he ended up at <laughs> someone's apartment, and she's like, you mind if I call my friend over, my friend Gary? I've heard this story, yeah. And, and he thought, like, Mike, Mike probably thought he was going to get some booty, yeah. and all of a sudden rolls in, yeah. her friend Gary is Gary Coleman. 
And, and, and he wouldn't leave. And Gary Coleman wouldn't leave because they started playing Scrabble the whole night. Yeah. And I know there's a whole long story to go uh, along with it, but Gary Coleman, uh, Gary Coleman was playing him. Scrabble and totally <laughs> ruined the whole night when, of course, Mike thought he was going to get some action. I can't believe Gary Coleman blocked me. Yeah, exactly. So, true story. Let's go to your phones. 877-99 on Fox. Uh, let's go to The Brain in Texas. What's up, The Brain? The Brain. What's up? I got one. Yeah. That is- Y'all totally forgot. Y'all missed it. <laughs> What's that? What about uh, Leonardo DiCaprio? Yo! Oh, yeah. Yo, Yo, Leo, before he was uh, on yachts with 20-year-olds, he was a teenager on Jeez. Growing Pains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yachts with 20 He was the, yeah, he was the kid they took in. The Seaver family took him in. Yeah. He, uh, he basically said, yeah, Jeremy Miller, yeah. I'm the likable child star on this show now. Yeah. And sorry, uh, sorry, Ben. Sorry, but, Ben Seaver. <laughs> and that's why he takes in child stars. Oh, no. stop it, sir. Oh. Stop it. Oh. Of age, of course, Spot. Of age, of course. Of age. 20, uh, 20, yeah. 20 Josh, age. can I tie it into some sports before we go to Josh? <laughs> yeah. Let me tie it into sports real quick. He's part of the Yankee <laughs> lore, part of the Yankee history. Little Jeffrey Mayer is what they called him. Now he's like old-ass Jeffrey Mayer. But he's the kid that pulled in that home run yeah. during that Yankees run back in 96 against the Orioles. Oh, it, you know what? If that you want to if you want to talk about child stars in sports, two funny stories come to mind. Well, not stories, but we always see those cute pictures of Patrick Mahomes like shagging fly balls as a little boy when his dad Patrick was on the Mets. Mm-hmm. And I always thought this story was great. If you don't know it, it's of uh, it's of classic baseball lure. Why did Ken Griffey Jr. never even entertain the idea of going to the Yankees? Danny Ramos, do you guys know this story? Why did Ken Griffey Jr. never even entertain the idea of putting on the pinstripes? They made him look chunky. Good guess, but no. When he was a kid and his dad was a Yankee, Steinbrenner and all the Yankees brass were not nice to him and wouldn't let him like hang in the clubhouse uh, or by his dad on the field. So he said, if I ever make it to the big leagues, I'll never be a Yankee. See, they were too strict. Yeah. Oh, I got another one. Uh, speaking of the Yankees, Rudy Giuliani's kid. Child star, remember that? Oh, remember, remember Chris Farley played him in all those SNL yes. bands? <laughs> Jeez. All right, uh, Josh, you're on in South Dakota. Kavino and Rich, what's up, Josh? Uh, Fred Savage is my child star. What a great he answer. Was great. Yeah. He was great. You know what? There was a show. He's one of those exceptions, too, because he had a lot of success. There was a show that I love that I might be the only one. It was with Rob Lowe and Fred Savage called The Grinder. Not not the uh, not the app. <laughs> it was a show called The Grinder and <laughs> it was so good. Were they lawyers? And it, yeah, they were lawyers okay. and, and it got canceled and you know, Fred Savage is super fun. That's a good answer. He was good in the Austin Powers movies too. Moly, he was, moly, 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 he was exceptionally good in The Wonder Years. I remember as a kid loving that. What would you do? Yeah. All right, uh, you know what? Let's go to Tony in Michigan. Tony, tell him, what's up? Hey, I got one. Uh, Dakota Fanning. Oh, yeah! Dakota Fanning was a yeah. a youngster, huh? She had a good, a lot of good roles too. Mm-hmm. I feel like she still looks like a child. Any of those Harry Potter people grow up to anything? Uh, I mean, Emma Stone, Emma Stone? Watson, Watson. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Boy. they all went on to do other projects. Yeah. I mean, uh, Daniel Radcliffe would be probably be the most popular, but Emma Watson went like she got like all activist. Well, you know, when we no, start- she w- she was Belle in Beauty and the Beast. Oh, that too. Oh, damn, that's right. That was <laughs> yeah, a which was a terrible that. choice. Not, I like her, but no. No, don't give me a don't Hermione to be don't Bill. Just, don't start. Rich, you your know? favorite show growing up, Alf. How yeah. come none of the kids on that show became yeah, famous? I don't know. Little Brian or uh, the what is it? Le, what was the daughter's name? I, I remember the neighbors. See, the Ocmon- the Ocmonics. It's because uh, it's it's not wasn't about easy them. to get yeah. past that image. Yeah. That's why you see so many of these kids taking these weird roles yeah, to sort of difficult. Shake it off. Yeah. Um, it always age gracefully. Is yeah. That your, is that like, your daily Taylor Swift? Then? That's my daily yeah, Taylor shake Swift. Shake it off. <laughs> no, no, no. But there was a kid, like, I'll give you another example. No one's going to remember it, so I figure I don't want to take the answers away. But I used to like the Bernie Mac show. And the oh, son on that yeah. show was so funny. Yes. That little kid, and I just looked up his name. Hold on. It was uh, Jeremy Suarez or something like that. But the little kid with the glasses, he was so funny. But it's just so hard for casting people to see past that sometimes. So there, once you once you outgrow your cuteness, they don't want to do it, have anything to do with you. There's a kid. You know what? I'll I'll wrap it with this. When we start fishing for answers, uh, answers that means it's time to move on. I have one more <laughs> because it's a relevant show now. Does anyone watch? It's a great background show. I don't know if it's one of those like appointment watching, but I like Abbott Elementary. Abbott Elementary is a really fun, it easy, is good. easy, quick show. You watch it too, Ramos? Yeah, I, I, know, I know where you're going with this already. The kid. 
that was Chris on Everybody Hates Chris back in the day, the mm-hmm. little kid. Yep. He's one of the teachers. That's correct. Uh, his name is Tyler James Williams. And I, when I first watched Abbott Elementary, I'm like, he looks familiar. Wait a minute, looks that's familiar. from Everybody Hates Chris. So, yeah, so child stars... A lot of times, it's it's tough to recover, and you see, unfortunately, stories, not to be a downer, but you see stories like Amanda Bynes and some people that, you know, it's, it's a rough road. Britney, Lindsay, Britney Spears, Lindsay Lowen. Lindsay Lowen. It, this, right. yeah, this Didn't a, happen to Coop. He landed at Fox Sports Radio. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the message here. You could, be the, you could be the claw kid and uh, become a sports producer. See? Look at that. You be Jose Canseco. I'll be Hideo Nomo. That was his line, right? Yeah. That's all, awesome. all he wanted was baseball stuff. I can't believe uh, what a little head of hair that kid had. He, he works hair? here. He yeah, works. I saw. I did a Sunday shift from four to eleven, and I was walking out to my car, and I went, "What's up, Justin?" He goes, "What's up, Ramos?" <laughs> and we just kept going. He doesn't wow. have that pumpkin you, pie haircut still, does he? No. Uh, okay. Ramos yeah. walked past a celebrity. Oh, you know what? We we <laughs> never see him because we're here. He's a great guy. Day. He's very no. Uh, he's yeah, cool. He's very cool. That's all. Awesome. You could hear him tonight, eleven p.m. on the West Coast. What is that? Three a.m. till three. Yeah. It's four hours. Yeah. yeah. Does he still make like birthday wishes, like in the movie? Like I wish Stop my dad it. won't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to ask him any question about Liar Lar because I don't know how he. The color react. of the pen I hold in my <laughs> hand. Come on, it's probably the cool. I mean, I'm sure he's a great guy, but that's the coolest fact about him. If I if right. I was a kid and liar liar, that would be but, the coolest thing in my life. But if that's all you're ever asked, it might. You know. That's why Gary Coleman didn't want to do the whole "What you talking about, Willis?" Yeah. When right. I meet this guy, I'm giving him the claw. I, I dare you. Please, please record it as he punches you. you. Yeah, I dare you. I, I dare you. I double dog dare yeah. you. He also was Dennis the Menace, the second uh, version. It went. I think it went straight to VHS tape, he oh, would joke. That's amazing. But yeah, he was Dennis that. the Menace. That's way cooler stuff than we did when we were little kids. Absolutely. So, yeah, good for him. And I, I do a double dog dare out there just to give props to Peter Billingsley. 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 Yeah, Billingsley. Child stars.